I'm going to show you how to edit your videos with CapCut on your iPhone, Android, or tablet device. And I hate long intros, so let's just jump into this tutorial. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my tablet because then I can have a mouse hooked up, but it'll be the exact same experience if you're doing this on iPhone or Android. To start, we're just going to click New Project. This will take us into our photo gallery where we can access our videos, photos, or live photos. You can also click up here to change the album if you have your footage organized like I do. And all you got to do is just click on the video clips and that will add them. And then once you have them all selected, you just click the add button down below here and it'll add it to your project. And here we go. I can actually take my finger and scroll through the timeline here to take a look at all of my footage. I can also pinch with my fingers to zoom out to see the clips better, or I can pinch to zoom in if I want to do a very specific edit. If you want to rearrange your video clips, you can always click on the video and hold your finger down and be able to drag it through your timeline. And then you can let go and it'll change the position. If you want to add more footage later on, you can always click this plus button over here. And that'll take you right back into your albums where you can access all the other footage. But for now, I'm just going to clip the clips as is. So let's get into the basics of trimming our video clips. To do this, all you have to do is click on a video clip. And you'll see a thick white bar appear on both sides of the clip. All you have to do is use your finger and drag and you'll be able to trim your video clip up to the point where you're about to start talking. Now there's another way to do it that's a lot more specific, which is scrolling to the spot where you want the video to begin. I can see I'm just about to start speaking right there, and I can look right where this white line is lined up. And what I can do is click the split button, and this will cut the video clip in half, so the video now starts right here, and this beginning part is its own separate clip. And since we don't want the beginning, I can click delete, and now it starts right on point, and I can scroll to the spot where I stop talking, click again, click split, and then delete the ending that I don't need. This also works great if you want to remove something from the middle of your video. You just scroll to the spot where you want the middle part to be removed, click the split button, then scroll ahead to the spot where you want it to start up again, click split again, and you now have separated the middle part of the video that you don't want. You can click the delete button, and now you've removed something from the middle of your clip. You can also reverse actions as well, just in case you didn't actually want to remove that. You can go to this back button over here, click that a few times, and that'll reverse any actions. Now let's get into some more interesting features. If you want to add text to your video, just simply click the text button down below, and then click Add Text. And here you can type something like, hello, and then down below here, you can choose the font. If you want to make it something a little bit more bold, you can then click Style and change the color and effect of everything there. You can also change the animation if you want it to fade in and fade out. You have those options here in the text. You can also use your finger and just grab the text on screen and drag it around and pinch to increase the size or shrink it. You have full customization there. And then once you click the check mark, you can actually grab the text here and you can drag it. You can move it around. You can click on it and increase the duration or shrink the duration just using your finger like so. Super easy to do. And then you also do have the ability, if I delete this, you can add auto captions. So if you apply this, you can actually have those automatic captions that you see all the time on TikToks. We'll just click start on those. And as you can see, it just added some captions in and I can go through and customize these as well. If you want to add music to your video, all you have to do is click audio and then sounds and you'll have access to CapCut's library. Now keep in mind, CapCut and TikTok have the same owner. So a lot of the songs built in here are designed for TikTok and not other platforms. So chances are, if you post this content on YouTube, you might get a copyright strike because you don't have the rights to use this music. To avoid all that, I use Epidemic Sound, which allows me to download copyright free music that is safe to use in my my videos on all the different social media platforms. If you're interested in checking that out, I do have an affiliate link down below where you can get a 30 day free trial to test it out. They've got a mobile app, they've got a website, just download it, import it into CapCut, been using it for years, absolutely love it.
But if you are posting to TikTok, you can easily click on one of these songs and click download and then click the plus button and then it adds it as an audio file down below. This you can also use your finger to move around. You can trim it to the spot that you want. You'll have all that customization there. And then there also is the volume button, which is super important. So if you click that, you can turn it down so that way the music isn't blaring. Up next on our list is stickers. If you click on this, you can actually add a lot of fun stickers here. Like they have this subscribe button that you can add. I can easily grab this. I'm going to pinch with my fingers to increase the size so I can have a subscribe button appear. You can have little arrows and things or just straight up emojis if you want to add those. So those are really fun to use. If you want to add an overlay or a video inside of a video, you can click the overlay button add overlay and for this example I'll add this money clip and as you can see it stacks it right on top or it kind of goes down here you can take your finger you can increase the size or shrink it or make it take up the full screen if you want it to be like b-roll you can also use your finger to trim either side of it like so so I can have it on for just a little bit of the clip. This also works great if you're doing like a gaming video and let's say you, my, my face is the game and you wanna have yourself off to the side like this. That way, that's how overlays can kind of work so you can do reaction videos and different things like that. You'll also notice there's an effects button down here with a whole bunch of different video and body effects. A lot of these you see in different TikTok videos, but they have everything from fun stuff to professional stuff in here. So definitely explore this library and take a look at the different effects that they have in here. Uh, next to that is the filters button. So if you click on this, you can actually apply filters to your video to give it a cool look. You can also take uh, the bar here and adjust how much of that effect that you want to apply. Um, there's also an adjust button. And in here, you can actually control things like the brightness, contrast, whether you want it the, the saturation increased and it be more colorful. So definitely go through here and mess with those settings. And finally, there's transitions, which in between two clips, you'll notice this white square box with a black line between it. Uh, if you click on that, you can actually adjust the transition. So I could do like this cool shake transition between two clips or a pull-in effect, which is pretty popular. So definitely go through there, experiment with transitions. There's a lot of fun ones in here. And once your project's done, you just gotta click this arrow in the top right corner and it'll save your project to your photo gallery and you are all set. If you wanna make professional looking videos with your smartphone, be sure to join the waitlist for our course. It's gonna be in a super in-depth guide on helping beginners get started with that. Otherwise, be sure to check out our other CapCut tutorials by clicking on the playlist on screen. And I hope to see you at either one of those spots.